So the industry is actually one of the worst polluters in the world. The fashion and apparel business is responsible for 10% of carbon emissions for the entire planet. Think about it, that's more than all the international flights and maritime shipping combined. Now we don't typically think about the clothing that we wear, but a typical pair of jeans takes around 2,000 gallons of water to make. It is an actual cost. And as I'm talking to you, the equivalent of a garbage truck of clothing and textiles is sent to landfills to be burned or buried every single second. The industry has set goals to be more eco-friendly. Zara this year pledged to use 100% sustainable or recyclable fabrics in its clothes, and they'll do that by 2025. Earlier, H&M said they'd do the same by 2030. So that's very big progress from two of the world's biggest fashion brands but it's not happening fast enough. Analysts say the fashion industry is on course to miss its own targets unless they make considerable changes. And that creates a gigantic gap for smaller brands to really come in and compete in that space. Veronica Chow's new fashion line, Everybody and Everyone, is one of the many startup brands that are going after a smaller segment of consumers that say they care about the environment and are willing to pay for it. Her line builds itself as being friendly to the environment from top to bottom. She chooses manufacturers, she says, that are green certified. They use recyclable or biodegradable fabrics, and the packaging is also eco-friendly. On top of that, what's really important is she's able to do what many startup fashion brands can't do, and that is she can actually invest in innovations that she believes will make fashion more sustainable. She and her family have invested, for example, in Polymateria. It makes biodegradable packaging. They've also invested in Rent the Runway. It's now a unicorn startup that rents designer clothes. She wants to help commercialize innovations that she says may eventually be used in her own fashion line. And that's a big advantage over her competitors.